went the distance just a week ago. And that one's through the end zone for the touchback. The quarterback position with Crookshank. Look at him go. Aaron Crookshank may take it. Touchdown. Well, that surprised everyone. And frankly, Spencer, it, it surprised us. When I saw Crookshank back there, I went, oh, they're going fast without a huddle. And oh, boy. That they have something dialed up. Well, it's the discipline again, the flow of the play again, the right of the mesh, and he's basically treating this like he's Jonathan Taylor. He's going to read it, shows you some of his instincts. Watching him, he's a lot thinner, but he's still got that same fluidity. When you've got those big hauls, Stat will stand pat through this game until now. The field goal is good. They find he's strong. Look at that. receiver coming into your frame that helps somebody you don't need the block from the outside he goes the same direction and shows you that breakaway screen running with integrity what i mean by that is he's not wasting any motion opening play second quarter second and goal o'connell off the play fake Tigers, touchdown Hopkins goes up and does this great Dwight Clark impersonation and pulls this one out of the air. He didn't have to high point it, but he does a nice job of catching it. Bottom of your screen. And they go the sweep action with A.J. Taylor. Balls on the ground. He's got Purdue's it. got it. It's Navon Mosley, 27, that comes out of there with it. And that play was read beautifully by Purdue defensively. Timmy, not one of the reasons why they don't do this with A.J. Taylor very much. It's out of their wheelhouse. How will they respond? We shall see when we return. Welcome to my... That's Bell in motion. So oh, Bell, Bell move, he got it. Hopkins, he's got it. He will take it in for the score. Touchdown, Boilermakers. Milton right through it, and he got down to Hopkins as soon as he could. Boy, did Hopkins sell this thing. He sells it perfectly. He nods inside to show that like he's going to block, but then turns into a corner route. I'm telling you, your dad couldn't do it better than that, brother. You know, we had a couple of plays in for Brad at that tackle spot where he was a tackle. Taylor got the eye. Play for He got wide open. open. He's got a camp look and coverage. He's got food on it again. A nice, a little mini Dino slant go kind of route or drag slant. Taylor. Ball on the ground. Boilermakers. Purdue's got it. They say they've got it. Boy, that would be another. And they've just, have, that's five now. Purdue's only gotten five fumble recoveries all year, and it's Derek Barnes again. Second fumble recovery, only the fifth all season, as we mentioned, and it's Brennan Thieneman, 38, that punched it out of there. You're in Catholic, Noblesville, Indiana. He does a nice job of what we call run fits. This is about squaring number 23 up in the hole. We know that he can run. We know that he converts speed to power, but this is just an outstanding job of playing fundamental football. And uh, Barnes, the junior from Cup. He 
Oh, you're thinking upright unkind, upright unkind. Oh, the air is kind. <laughs> it grazed the bar. Hello, how do you do? Exactly what's happened with Aiden O'Connell. A little rollout action this time. Let's it fly deep for Bell. Intercepted by Wisconsin. It's Burrell, 25. He's a bull. And Spencer, the ball came out late. Well, it was a great idea, but the pressure came to him, Tim. Chris or the inside linebacker, all of them, forced the youngster into a problem. He made a poor decision. Let's see if he can correct it on the other side. It's the fifth time they've used him. That has really bothered Purdue all night long. This is the read he's reading right here. It's the same read that the quarterback is going to read. When the end comes down, you pull that ball out and you make it to the corner. And I like his chances to get to the edge. Brookshank now in the Wildcat. Oh, the ball's out. Ball is out. And it's wow. recovered by Karloftis. Well, that's keeping Purdue in the game. Third fumble recovery for Purdue. Nick Holt getting what he knew he had to get from his defense to maintain contact against the Badgers. Tim, here's the pressure that comes up up front. Again, it's in the middle of that offensive line where the pressure came, and it was tough. Wow. They're playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage and just bumped into him. The timing was disrupted. Second time tonight, that ball has been delayed. In the cover two look. Tight end in the middle. O'Connor in trouble and sacked. Isaiah Loudermilk. Pressure was coming from the second level, too, but Loudermilk got through from the defensive end spot. Cone looping it in the corner. Wow, what a great adjustment. It is Quintus Cephas. Lead it up. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Dedrick Mackey, the cornerback, had no chance on this one. You would have thought it was a defensive play that was well performed. You can see on the outside the coverage, it's press. He does a nice job of stemming him inside and then putting him in his hip pocket. But the great adjustment and to find the ball and put himself between the ball and the sideline was textbook. It doesn't get any sweeter than that, brother. Well, they can score quickly. O'Connell, nice. out pattern. It is Bell and his touchdown. Ring it up. This one's not over. Timmy, that's why they love him so much. Again, the 197 plus yards he had against Iowa at their place is why the stage is not too big for him. The consciousness and presence of mind to stick that ball over. I mean, that guy doesn't play like a freshman. He plays like a seasoned veteran player. Outstanding poise. Now that drive, once he finishes his graduate work in July, with that organizational leadership degree on his big one, they got there it open. goes for Cephas, Pick. intercepted, taken down by Mackey, Diedrich Mackey with the pilfer. Jake Ferguson has got to be careful too on the return side of that interception. He kicked the return, man, Timmy. Well, he's a little banged up, but after being so efficient. This pick to go along with the three fumbles have kept. This is about you guys, not me. Little power football. 234, Mason Stuckey. Touchdown. Well, the Badgers knew they were going to have to score more to win this one, Spencer. They've done that. They've also showed us some versatility. Yeah, I love the fact they got that little inverted wishbone. You see, this is this is the inverted wishbone right there. Yeah. Get that formation in there in for the score. Outstanding. Anyway, you fourth and one. 
Well, they get Horvath behind the line. Wow. And I'll turn it over on downs. And mm. Wisconsin can uh, go into victory for me. I'm happy about that uh, uh, tonight to have, to have had that happen. Yeah, this is an amazing story and, and one that we come to expect when we meet these young men. Spencer, so much that we see from a weekly basis.